food for you. Remember to take it before it spoils. Welcome back, guys. Uh, developers, if you watch this, the guys who, who created this game, it uh, it has a little issue when you snap back from standby mode. The sound starts looping and dropping out and just fading in and out. Just a little audio issue you might want to look into. Other than that, the game picked up perfectly. Not criticizing, trying to help. Data convert. I appreciate games like this. This is what I wanted, dude. Which is weird that we haven't done anything good with dinosaurs. We've got the damn fucking technology and we're not using it. Are we, okay, so we, we, we're right here. I actually had to start up and then close the file down and start over again because I didn't want you guys to even see it. So I just wanted to tell them. You know what I mean? I feel like it's the least I can do. These guys clearly care. Like, let's look at the copy and paste factor. Yeah, you see what I mean? They didn't do it. I hate copy and paste, dude. Now, that's not to say they didn't do it with the animals. They're at least, they're not flapping in tandem or anything, at least. If they did it, they did it right. This fucker. Processing. Laika, come here. Laika. Laika? I'm hitting her. Laika, stay. Oh. Get here. Get here. It can't follow that command. Oh, go fuck yourself. Where the hell are you guys? I right, try right here. This is where I'm staying, brain. What the hell is that? Uh, what? Stop telling me to open it. I don't want to do that yet. You'll need to find the blades and reattach them. I figured no power, that out. No robot, no wicks. I don't want to think about the consequences. I know where the blades are. I don't care about that. I want to see what's over here. It's too far. But he's not. Processing now. What the fuck sense does that make? Whatever, give me this. Hello? Excuse me? Can you? Oh, nobody does that. Not yet. I like when down turns you around on the uh, analog stick. This is pretty cool. It's vibrating to let you know you're holding something, which is almost making me drop my beer. <laughs> it doesn't sound cool, but what is this? But it kind of is. I know, I know the rest are down there. I want I want to look around over there real quick though. Here you go. Eh. What? This isn't a blade? You mean I carried this shit Ouch. for no reason? Ah, ah. Okay, now then now there was a reason. This isn't a blade. Oh, this is a blade. Oh. Blade detached. Good work. I yeah, they're, they're cylindricals, you fucking idiot. Okay, well, I threw one earlier, so I know there's another one down here. Sorry about the motion shit. I'm doing what I can. I haven't seen anything pop in before my eyes. I'll, I'll see what, if it up just did. <laughs> up just did. <laughs> Come here. And there's another one. Wow, that was actually really well hidden. Get out of there. You guys did a hell of a lot of work here. Why is this getting a three? I think... I think the problem, and, I, and hopefully these guys are a parent of this. The people that created this. I think the problem isn't that you didn't make a game that was good. The problem is you didn't make a game to those people that solidified the $500 price tag, which is sad. It's like, when you invest in this, you gotta understand that it's an experience. You're getting your money's worth, but it's an experience. It's something regular gaming can't give you. You know, people don't think that way. It, one day they will, I hope. That's the cool thing lately that I'm really liking about developers. They're creating stuff because they want to create it, and not because to prove a point, to be a pissing contest, to 
No, nah, they're, they're creating it because it's what they want to play. And that's what I think gaming should have always been. And sometimes you get lost in your ego. And I hope to never be that person, but I get it. You do something for so long, it's easy to get lost in an ego. I get it. They're not dangerous. But where did... Oh, okay. Well, they did go somewhere at least. I gotta, I gotta look at this view. Is that even a blade? No. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Shit, I thought the last blade would be over here. God damn it. Data converted. The last blade's not over here. Where the fuck is it? Okay. Those snakes are really weird. You do what you can. I like them. They're just weird. Can we get to view them in the infantarium? Not following. Are you little shit? You're turning into quite the naturalist. You're, t you're turning into quite the repeating asshole. Up here. Aww. I hope he's not the reason that they're getting a three, because he doesn't have much dialogue. And he repeats a lot. Where's the fucking last blade? It's even weirder to find objects when you're out here. Like, legit out here. And there's so much to look at. Where is this fucking other blade? What the fuck? Oh, that was a weird sound that little bastard made. I didn't even see you, dude. I'll add that one straight away. Where's this last blade? Data converted. They're finished. I'm looking for... Oh, no, it's not. There's one more blade. Blade, blade. Didn't I throw one over like an asshole? Because I thought it was garbage. Tell me that's not what it is. That could be it down there. Let's try it. Oh no! Really, dude? You little pussy fart. God damn it. Hey, yeah. Ah, there she is. How do I go back down? It doesn't seem like this is a thing. I have to do everything again, don't I? Don't make this an edited goddamn camera series, because I don't want to do those yet. I'm lazy. Are you serious? I think I'm going to have to. Didn't get them. I mean, it's got... Nah, it didn't get anything. Fuck! All right, we're back. Actually, uh, glad I edited this one out for you guys. This damn piece was actually well hidden up here. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn, Nubsy's down there barking her ass off. Don't know why. I wonder if it's a big part, too, is, uh, I didn't really think Ouch. about it. He's got a British accent, and as stupid as it may sound, there's a lot of people that can't well, handle that Robin trophy. Power is restored. Yep. Your role on board the Esmeralda could easily have been in construction. Doesn't bother me, but I didn't really think about it. What? I don't think that's what it is. I don't understand why this game is rated low. I really don't. Whatever. Right. So. Oh, now I can use you. And put power. You, yeah, okay. 
What am I trying to power up here? I feel like I did it. But it's all saying it's too high, so maybe... I don't know. I don't get this at all. Got two of them. What the fuck is going on with this one? But actually, it seems like it allows me to get to that pod thing down there, maybe? Let's just check out what we got here. Oh, it took me to it. I thought it was going to eat her. What the hell is this? This is new. Okay. You think he's lonely? He's got no robot buddies. It has attempted to form a localized network with oh, other it's potatoes. but has been unable to do so due to the isolation of this location. So yes, maybe he is lonely. She fucking hates that thing. She fucking hates you. What am I now, doing? Don't waste all that food getting that creature to perform party tricks. Do you ever listen to me? Nope, oh, can't hand it to her. It makes sense. <laughs> it's funny. You find out why she's named Nubsy. So, what the fuck am I doing? I thought I like. Oh. Okay. Boo box. Whatever that is. God damn thing in the ground. If this is all I came here for, I'm kind of fucking confused. So I'm not going to be judgmental on the AI because of how quick this game has come out. And VR is still relatively new and... Oh, I thought that was a potato. What the fuck? So this thing had no purpose other than giving me potatoes to feed Laika. Or Nubsy as we're calling her. It seems like it can do more, but I can't... Huh? Hang on. How did I get it to move like that? What the fuck? Did I just do that? I don't understand this at all. Hide help, blah 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 blah. I don't get it. I don't get it. Give me like... Well, we need to get this done anyways. Let's, let's look at this stuff. Communicators. What the hell? Boot box. That's annoying. Where's the start? Okay, it starts here. Here's that image for the presentation. Oh, thanks. Ew, remind me why do we have to do a presentation on agricultural equipment used in the colonization of Tyson 3? Because our teacher is sadistic. It should be called useless. Equipment for a planet will never reach. Or from robots to plant pots. Why colonizing planets is misguided aspiration. What the fuck? Hey, how's your ship going? I found this awesome image on the net today. A scalar 3 on parade on the Hudson River, New York. Earth, uh, before we launched. It's going fine, still sailing away, and wow. Isn't it incredible to think that all the humanity rallied behind this mission? Behind us? Humbling to think, especially when I look out from the bridge across the whole Esmeralda, it's a beautiful sight. Okay, so there's a good bit of those. And then this guy. 
which we've checked out. There's not many Higgs units, okay. There should be a lot of creatures. Oh, fuck shit. Oh, actually, there's really not that much variety. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Like I said, this came out awfully fast, though. Two pairs of wings and a near impenetrable protective exoskeleton distinguish this beetle from other insect species. Their diet consists of decaying vegetation and the fungus that grows on it. The beetles of Tyson III are similar to those found on Earth, with the exception of their circulatory system, which is surprisingly based on blood rather than hemolymph. hemolymph. This will require further research later, Robin. There it's there. Butterfly. What the fuck can I learn from a butterfly? The presence of mel melanin pigments give butterfly wings their bright and varied color. Their iridescence, however, is a structural coloration produced by the microstructures of this microscopic scales covering their wings. A fulcrum in the thorax allows them to pump their wings hard enough to take flight. Transparent wings, multifaceted eyes, and an elongated body. Dem Demarcate, these aerial, I don't know what the fuck that word is. Aerial predators almost exclusively carnivorous. Dragonflies will eat a variety of insects from mosquitoes to butterflies, which they ingest head first, discarding the wings. It's thought that moths circle artificial light as it disrupts their celestial navigation. As before the Esmeralda crash, there were no artificial lights on Tyson III. There must be a lot of confu confused moths now. <laughs> Short, bipedal, and quite cute, the crest on its head is most likely used to attract a mate. Its most remarkable feature is its short beak. Two bones on the side of the snout, the premaxilla, are fused into one. It represents a major step in the evolution of dinosaurs to birds. I actually really like this. This is fucking cool. We'll do layer by layer. Deaf and nearly blind, the snail must rely entirely on touch and a weak olfactory system to find food. Unlike the raptor, however, their prey is limited to vegetation, algae, and lichen. Very weak, and, uh, which are not very difficult to hunt. Okay. And then we'll do row by. Well, no, that'll get confusing. You gotta, you gotta continue. You gotta finish this. Caterpillar. Caterpillars are voracious feeders, capable of consuming huge amounts of food. Their distinctive and large antennae are used for olfactics, olfactics, or sense of smell. It is uncommon for insects in their larval stages, and suggests that this species is highly dependent on its sense of smell. Mouse. This tiny creature combines traits from two mammals well known on Earth. With the armored shell of the armadillo on its head and back to protect its vital organs, this hybrid rodent has evolved to survival to survive violent interspecies fighting. The advanced neural structures present in the creature's brain indicate an intelligence rivaling yours. What? Robin, better not put them in any mazes. They might end up being the ones experimenting on you. You just put that in to be a dick. Is it going to be like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Salamander. Though easily confused with lizards, salamanders are amphibians and only thrive in damp habitats. The presence of an abundance of macrophage cells, part of the immune system, indicate an ability to quickly regenerate lost limbs. The fuck was that movie where you regenerated with glass? They accidentally made a serial killer. What the, the fuck? Virtuosity, that's what it was. Snake. That was a, I like that movie. The small but well-developed limbs on this snake show a clear evolutionary link between lizards and snakes. I've defined this creature as a snake because of its belly scales and forked tongue and the proportions of long body to its short tail. Almost done. Laika, although it's cute. That is freaky, the way she is... Okay, uh, uh, at the moment, this young Tyrannosaur will soon become a gigantic wild voracious predator. To make it more worried, it's also displaying uncharacteristic intelligence and is capable of understanding human commands and playing complicated games. The sooner it leaves our camp, the better. I know we read it, I just like her. I think we read you too. Didn't know they had horns. Really didn't, is that a real thing? Wow, what the fuck did you just eat? You're, you're really going to be in this game? I'm excited. A true apex predator. Arr! These horned monsters have humongous jaws and devastating bite. I'm, I've observed that they live in matriarchal groups. The females of the species are generally larger, stronger, and more aggressive. 
Ain't that a bitch? Huh? With one large claw for defense and a smaller, more agile claw for bringing food and water to its mouth, the hermit crab has acute vision and antennae for gustatory, olfactory, and somatic exploration. Though hermit crabs usually inhabit the abandoned shells of their other mollusks, any object capable of protecting their fragile abdomens will do the job. Perhaps we'll find one inside the old piece of old piece of wreckage one day. Weird. Just let's let's put some hermit crabs in there too. I'd like to know you saved. Cause I don't want to fucking scan like a, a goddamn game. There was a thingamajig. There are a lot of new sounds. I'm not liking it. There was a cave I wanted to check out. We didn't come from a cave, did we? But Jason from fucking Friday the 13th had been here. Are we facing? <laughs> Fuck no. God damn it. Okay. Sorry if I've been talking to the wall for a while. It's a good wall. It's been there for me through tough times, really. Robin, right. those pterosaurs still have that Higgs unit. As much as I want to keep you safe, you have to understand it's a matter of personal pride. I'm sure you'll be okay. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're probably telling me we gotta go back, but I figure if we have to do it, it'll... Yeah, okay, there we go. It just saved. I'm gonna end it here. And bring you guys back. I, uh... I gotta splice these two episodes together, figure it all out, and then we're back in business. So I'm gonna check out a bunch of stuff, get a bunch of series going. Uh, someone asked me, actually nicely wrote me, I, I highly doubt they'll even see this, but they nicely wrote me in the comments, they want me to continue Tomb Raider and do the uh, DLC. If you're watching this, please be patient. It's coming. I just have to get the time, and this is a terrible week for time. PlayStation Experience launched so much crap at every YouTuber. <laughs> it's ridiculous. In a good way. I'm excited to play this stuff. I'm not doing it and make, make, making my stress, myself stressed out. I want to do this stuff. It's just funny how much shit they threw out that was completely free and out of nowhere. And I definitely want to check it out. So, I hope you can be patient and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later. Bless you.